Hi, Leo. Welcome to your new love reading. This is Mary, and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So, Leo, this is still the singles reading. I just changed the title from singles to new love. So this still is intended for those of you who are single, wondering when new love may be coming into you. It could be your next encounter, your next date, your next significant relationship, whatever here. Um, if you are in a connection with someone and not together, so you technically are technically are single, that is fine. But I do offer, especially if you're new, I do have love connection readings up on my channel for those who have a connection, or whether or not whether or not you are together with that person, you can feel be feel um, feel free to watch those readings also. But you're welcome to watch this too. So this is intended for Leo, uh, someone rising in Venus, male or female. And please only take it how it resonates for you or take the parts that resonate for you, you know, whatever that means for you. Um, it is possible I could pick up on a past connection or something like that. Uh, that can happen. But this is intended for new love coming in. And I know we're all in quarantine and it's, you know, dated May, but this is intended for whenever. So it may not happen in May. could be for the future. So please keep that in mind. I just uh, put dates on them so, you know, keep some of them in order in which they were released. So let's see what we have for Leo. So I hope everyone's staying healthy and safe at this time. So if you're familiar with the singles reading I did in the past, I changed the format a little tiny bit. You can let me know in the comments below how you like this format or if you like the old for, uh, format better. We're still going to get three cards here for this person's energy. I'll clarify their energy, but then I'm going to look at how you will feel about each other, if there'll be any blocks or challenges in the connection, uh, what the advice guidance uh, would be, possible outcome, what kind of connection it looks like it could be. So uh, I'm not going to do um, like I did in the past where I did how and where you may meet them and time frame. And, you know, if I see that, I'll kind of say it, but I'm looking more into how you'll feel, feel about each other, blockages, challenges, um, advice, guidance, possible outcome, and that kind of energy. So let me know how you like this. Again, you know, you can leave me some comments. And if you want, if you're new and you want to watch the past uh, readings, you can check the description box below. Uh, links are there for your general and love readings, and you'll find them in the love um, playlist. Also, there's tons of infor information down there in the um, description box. Feel free to check that out. Or if you're new and you like my style, my energy, how I read, check my, out my channel. Feel free to uh, subscribe and hit the bell, all that great stuff. We greatly appreciate it. You get about four or five readings a month, actually. All right, so let's see. With this deck here, I'm going to pull one oracle from each deck. And then we'll get into the tarot. Wow, that's way too many. Um, okay, that one. <laughs> that one was sticking, so that one. This one here will tell us what kind of energy this person is in, what their kind of energy they're sitting in, or what their energy is like. And then with this deck here, uh, we'll get what like their spirit soul energy is like. For Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus male or female for the general collective this is a general collective reading not a private reading but info below if you'd like to reach out for a private reading um so this is for leo spirit please what is this new love incoming person for leo singles what is your spirit soul energy like for well i guess <laughs> spirits like that one <laughs> okay all right so let's get what is like their love energy. This is their love energy. So this will tell us how they think about love, how they view love, kind of how they are when they're in love, um, that kind of energy. So let's see, for Leo, new love coming in. What is this person's love energy like? Their love energy, I'm feeling that one. All right, Leo. And I did do three readings yesterday. Uh, I'm recording this on um, April 27th. And on April 26th, I did three readings. And I lost them all. So I have to do these over. So we'll see if we get the same messages here. All right. So oops. so we got love abounds. So I don't use reversals with... Um, Oracle deck. So we do have the Ace of Cups here. Love abounds. So this person is ready for a brand new beginning in love. This is a divinely guided brand new beginning in love. So they're ready. They're ready for new love. 
and we have here the arts. This has been coming out a lot. Express yourself through creative activity. So this could be somebody who uh, is in the arts in some way, shape, or form, or they do it as a hobby or it's a passion project. You know, they could write, they could sing, um, anything associated with the arts in any way, shape, or form. So somebody who's artistic in some way, they could draw, they could paint, they could sculpt. I mean, they could do anything associated with the arts. Wow. All right, so let's see what their love energy is like. True love. This love is a once-in-a-lifetime love. Wow. We have 30 there, which is three, which is about teamwork, collaboration, working together. They want true love. They're ready for new love. Their heart is full of love. They're ready to give love. They want a true once-in-a-lifetime love. Wow. And this could be someone who likes to write, like, sappy love songs, poems, poetry, um, and that kind of energy. I'm almost getting, like, a hippie kind of vi vibe in a way, <laughs> if you know what I mean. So, wow, okay. So I'm getting a very calm, peaceful... Uh, they could be very spiritual also kind of energy like a hip, hippie vibe is what i'm getting very peaceful kind of energy all right so i definitely am seeing with that eye almost reminds me like the third eye so they could be very intuitive uh spiritual all right so let's see let's clarify this energy for leo very different from the first reading I did for you that uh, I lost, that got deleted. So, <laughs> very different. All right. So, I guess that one was not meant to be published. So, let's, that's way too many. Let's clarify this person's energy for Leo, the Leo Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female. Judgment. So, this is... Um, making a final decision about something here. Life review, uh, relationship reviews. Um, you know, it's, sometimes it can be about someone from the past returning, resurrection, you know, but this is like the angel here blowing the trumpet to bring the soulmates back together. So this person is looking for their ultimate soulmate. They made that decision that they're on, it's almost like, <laughs> I just got the message like on the hunt for their true love soulmate. Wow. And I don't mean that like, in a bad, like, creepy kind of way, but, all right, they are only interested in true love. They don't want anything fake, superficial, the hanged man. So they really thought about this. They really thought about this. Maybe they could have been alone for a while here with the hanged man, um, but now they're ready. They're ready for new love. They've made that judgment call, that decision, that final decision that I'm ready that could have been enlightened. You know, your soulmate is out there, but you got to get out there and uh, get out there into the world instead of, you know, hanging around, being alone. You know, maybe just playing their guitar, singing, or do what, you know, doing whatever they're doing. So we do have the five of wands here. This can be about inner conflict, conflict, competition. But we do have the high priestess here. So that there's that intuitive energy I was talking about. So they could have been, you know, conflicted about getting back out there and meeting people. You know, maybe they like being alone for a while, you know, doing their thing. Um, but this is like spirit telling them, hey, you know, your soulmate's out there. You've been alone long enough. It's time to get back out there. And I think they finally listened this time with the high priestess. I think, I feel like um, they're finally listening to divine energy here. It's saying, oh, okay, because now we have the Queen of Pentacles, King or Queen. So someone who's very stable, grounded, they could be a Capricorn. I'm only going to go by the Kings and Queens as for signs, so it's not so confusing. If I read every sign here, we're going to have every sign in the Zodiac. So so we do have Capricorn here. So this is some, someone who is stable, who is grounded. You know, the bunny here reminds me of fertility. So someone who probably wants to have a family. Um, wants to offer their pentacle to their soulmate, to their true love. And that's who they're waiting for. So they're very stable and grounded. I'm getting like a very earthly energy, like that, well, I don't want to say hippie, but a very um, earthly, peaceful kind of energy. Okay, so this person's ready. They've made the judgment call. You know, I think they've been alone for a while. And, you know, maybe they've been alone because they went through some 
hardships in the past. And they figured, you know, I think I'm just going to be alone for a while here. Maybe even the last couple of years. But now, they're ready. They're ready. They fought their inner demons. Not demons, but their inner conflict. And they listened to Source. The Source said, you're stable, you're grounded. Because we do have the Empress. Emperor, Empress doesn't matter here. So, I feel like this needs to be up here. So, yeah. This person... Uh, male, female, emperor, empress is ready. They're stable. They're grounded. They know their value, their worth. They're ready to take, lead, control, charge, and uh, get out there and find their true love. They have a lot of emotions and feelings with the water here and ready to share that. Very Again, with the dove there, very in the water and the earth, very, you know, peaceful, calm, watery, earthly kind of, earthy kind of energy. They may pray, meditate a lot, um, also, like out in nature, you know, things like that. All right, so next I'm going to look at how, like, you'll feel about each other. So, Leo, I'm going to put um, you over here, and maybe we'll also see, like, maybe how you may meet them, um, how that may come about. All right, so let's see. How will Leo feel about this person? How will Leo feel about this person? Nine of Wands. All right, let me get Four of Swords and Justice. So, so I think you're going to want to think about this connection. You may meet them like in the city or like around a courthouse or something like that or something to do with law or paperwork or something like that somehow if that makes any sense but i mean the nine, nine of wands is an energy and that's that fire energy your energy of being like the wounded warrior but you know you're ready to so you know you've made a maybe you've just been through a divorce and you're like you, know, you meet this person and you're like oh i'm not ready for this now you know i feel like i've been through the ringer you know but yeah i don't want to give up on love but yeah i'm not ready so you may think about it. You may think about it here with the Four of Swords energy. Like, do I really want this now? Am I ready for this now? Especially if you've been over, been through something and getting over a divorce or a long-term relationship. It may happen at like a time when you're not looking for it, I feel. So you may be a little defensive on guard. Not sure. Having to think about it. So let's see how this person will feel about you, Leo. So if that doesn't make sense for for you, Leo, I mean, this could be your person. Well, not your person, but this new incoming new energy. You could switch the energies uh, if you feel like you need to. Um, okay, so let's see how this person will feel about Leo. Queen of Swords energy here. So that is uh, Libra. So, so far we have Capricorn and Libra. So this is, you know, seeing the truth, the clarity um, kind of energy open communication all right so let's get two more nine of swords are you going to stress them out leo in the five of swords they're not going to know what to do with you <laughs> they're not going to know whether or not to fight for this forgive to give up um you may be stressing them out you may be very clear and blunt to them with that Queen of Swords energy. Or they're going to be very open and honest with you. King or Queen, doesn't matter here. They may be very open and honest with you, too, about how they feel. Um, but for some reason, they're going to feel stressed out about you and not sure the Five of Swords energy. Okay, is this a losing battle? Do I give up? Do I keep fighting? What do I do here? I just don't know what to do kind of energy. So let's see why. Let's get another one. Okay. Nine of Pentacles. So I think they're going to see you as someone very stable, independent. You could be very independent now. They're going to see you, and this is like the minor of the empress. So they're going to see you in that light of being, you know, beautiful and elegant and, you know, stable and grounded and independent, taking care of yourself. And they may think, oh, maybe this person is just too independent and um, not ready for something here. So they're going to be, they're not, they're not going to know what to do with you, how to feel about you, you know, if, if you just like go on a couple dates here, uh, maybe you're like, oh, well, I'll give it a try, I don't, I, but I don't really know. 
uh, may hold back your energy and they're just, you know, they're going to feel, you know, this energy towards you, but yet they're going to be kind of stressed and not sure what the heck's going on here, what to do, this losing battle, you know. All right, so let's see. I kind of see the blockages already, so but let's see what else Spirit wants to say about... And again, if you feel like the energies need to be reversed for that part, please do that. Um, all right, so let's see. Let's see what blockages or challenges may be in this connection for Leo, the devil, yeah. Toxic energy, but it could be, you know, doesn't necessarily have to be, you know, addictions or obsessions. It can be fear, doubt, low self-esteem, uh, that stressed out kind of energy. Ten of swords, yeah. Painful, hurtful ending. Someone here, I feel like the challenge blockage is someone here has been through a painful, painful ending. And they cannot get over the energy of the pain that they went through in that ending. And then... It's like they don't want to give up on love, but yet they're not really ready for it either. But yet you may meet this person and feel like a connection or attracted to them or something. I mean, the devil can be a very strong, uh, passionate connection between two. All right, what else here? The world. Yeah, closing out cycles, starting new cycles. So that's a challenge here of letting the past be the past so you can start fresh, start new you know, and have growth and expansion. So that's going to be a challenge to just let the past be in the past. So somebody here is still haunted by the past, I feel. All right, so what else? Four of Cups, not sure how they feel about love. They're just not sure. The off is right there. But it's like, I want it. I don't want it. I'm ready. I'm not ready. I'm ha still haunted by the past. Um... Uh, kind of stuck in limbo here with the world energy, like between two worlds, like still haunted by the past, yet, you know, having a new connection and feeling something, but yet still stuck like between two worlds almost. Not quite sure what to do here with the Four of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. So someone definitely here, I feel like this person is going to want to show you that they're, they're stable, they're secure, they're grounded. There's that earth energy again. Uh, they're sincere, they're trustworthy, you know, they want it, they, you know, want to take it slow um, to show you you can trust them. So that may be a challenge too, um, is to trusting the solid offer coming in. Because he has an offer here, but the offer is over here and somebody's not even looking at it. So definitely a uh, challenge here. Someone is still haunted by their past, painful ending, stuck between two worlds, feeling disenchanted, melancholy about love, but yet seeing, okay, someone here is stable and they want to give me this solid, stable offer, but I'm not sure what I'm feeling here. So somebody's definitely stuck. All right, so are you still haunted by the past, Leo? If not, then it could be this person, I guess. But like I said, this is or isn't going to resonate with you. Um, if your energy, what I'm reading for you, doesn't resonate, but the incoming person could. So, all right. So let's see what I'm just getting here. Uh, so you could meet them like in the city or around a courthouse or something like that. That's kind of what I'm getting. If you live in the city, if not, then maybe out doing, I don't know, paperwork or something to that effect. Like maybe going to your town hall or, you know, something like that. I don't know. But anyway, um, let's see what spirits advice guidance is possible outcome for this. So we have the magician. So <laughs> spirit is saying to manifest this connection, to manifest this brand new beginning for yourself. Don't stay stuck in the past. Let the past go. All right, so what else here? Page of Wands. So fiery, passionate communication, good news coming in. Wow, so we have the Nine of Cups. So this is going to be a wish, a dream come true, happiness, joy, fulfillment. 
there is an opportunity here if you accept this offer fiery passionate exciting offer whatever it is manifesting brand new beginning to wish fulfillment happiness, destroy fulfillment and someone taking action here so someone will take action to manifest a new beginning that would be wish fulfillment That's the advice and, and possible outcomes. So let's see if there are any other messages. And we have fire here, Leo, which is your energy. All right. So well, what do we have here so far for them? We had uh, Capricorn and Libra were the two signs so far. Any other messages for advice, possible outcome? Ace of Swords. And this is the truth, the clarity of the matter. It's my divine intervention card. My Divine Enlightenment card. This is a victorious new beginning based on truth, clarity. Cutting away those shadows of the past. Having open, honest, truthful communication. Enlightenment. Wow. Spirit's going to try to enlighten you that <laughs> this is something that you should try to manifest here. With this person. Because it could be a lot of happiness and joy and fulfillment here. All these cups are overflowing. What else? Knight of Cups. So somebody coming in, moving forward in love with the love offer. Passion, love, stability, truth and clarity. Wow. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we have the Two of Swords. So you may still be indecisive, Leo. Indecisive about this. But Temperance is here trying to bring the soulmates together. Balance out the energies. Peace, harmony, patient energy because somebody here is holding their big cup of love and wanting possibly to give it to you so we do have pisces here now king or queen doesn't matter and again now we have the fool so we have the fool jumping right in taking a leap of faith and someone definitely wanting to take control we have the emperor and the empress we have divine counterparts now this could be a divine soulmate for you Someone taking the lead, taking control, wanting to take this leap of faith and work on a connection here. But someone's defensive on guard, that's your energy, Leo. It may draw this out with the Seven of Pentacles and make this person wait because you're just not sure. Because now we do have the Queen of Wands, which is your energy and strength. So I think that's confirming that that is your energy because you're stuck in your head. <laughs> so so the Queen of Wands here can be Aries. So that's what I'm seeing, Leo. This is an opportunity to have a, a really strong soulmate, divine counterpart um, connection. If you choose to, if you let this person in, if you can get over the shadows of the past and move on, leave the past in the past. Um, it may come at a time when you're not expecting it, you're not looking for it because the blindfold is on here and then bam, all of a sudden this person comes in and you're like this. Now, really? Oh my God, I'm not ready for this. So, <laughs> okay, Leo, that's what I see. So best of luck to you, sending you many light, love and blessings. And as I always say with my channel is to always, always shine your light.